Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to a first episode of Awakening Insights. In this series, we're gonna talk about various production features of our upcoming PCVR horror game, Awake In. Today, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about immersion in our game. But first, what actually is Awake In? Awake In is a VR horror where we play as a human sized mannequin bound to a wheelchair. As you explore the desolated hotel trying to find out what you are, you get to know its history and face the danger of its inhabitants. Our ambition was to force the immersive potential of the virtual reality medium into unique and reliable experience in a thrilling dressing. This was our starting point, the inability to walk. And inability is what can be really scary. Games in which you play in a standing position have some limitations in moving around. You cannot simply walk in a designated direction, so you use analog controls or teleportation, which is fine. But it does break immersion. The mechanic of controlling a wheelchair is what can be convincingly imitated in VR, including the physical immersion of turning the wheels with your controllers. Being unable to get up, walk up the stairs or cross tiny obstacles is also a limitation, one that can be inscribed into gameplay. It also makes the game possible to play for people who cope with some disabilities. But if you prefer more conventional ways of control or experience motion sickness in VR, we've added comfort modes, which allow to teleport and control your vehicle with a joystick. Another element knocking players out of immersion was the HUD. In VR, you can manually grab objects and interact with environment. The need of using interfaces inside game can be effectively reduced. That's why we hand over to players an in-game inventory box attached to a wheelchair. In it, you can store your limited amount of items, so it's important to manage them cautiously. Your vehicle is also equipped with a few racks for necessary tools, like flashlight or a melee weapons to defend from enemies' attacks. The hotel itself is a rich field to explore. Obscure corridors and abandoned rooms hide secrets and dangers, and you never know what hides behind the corner. But we're gonna talk more about this issue in next episode. Thanks for watching and in case I don't see ya, goodbye, good evening and good night.